But Latasha, I've heard you preach a sermon on this. Mm -hmm. And my question to you is, why should black people vote? You know, I'll give them, instead of five reasons, I'll give them 41.6 million reasons, because black people matter. Mm. At the end of the day, there are consequences that go with elections. And so let me say this, even to Uncle Luke, you know, on, on one level, you know, I understand his frustrations. What he is saying, and he is, is he's capturing, I think, part of the frustrations that we've been hearing as we've been going out talking to black voters. There has been this sense of not feeling like they've gotten what it is that they voted for. And I think that there's truth in that. I think, but also so we have to really recognize that there are consequences when we don't vote. Yeah. Case in point, I'll go back from 2012 to 2016. What happened in 2012? We had a record number. 2016, it was a large, it was a decline in 20 years of black voters turning out. What did we get? Donald Trump. Right. What did Donald Trump do when he came into office? He created from the Muslim ban to disproportionately impacting black immigrants to actually creating policies that hurt black people in the black community and packing the courts with folks that we're dealing with the repercussions down. And so we have to really have this nuanced conversation because we're in this political context that we inherited, that quite yeah. frankly, we're in a political system that from the very start did everything it could to disenfranchise and not include black people in the process. And so we're still dealing with structural racism within the political process. We also have to recognize that we have consequences in our communities when we don't vote. We have to be a part of the policymaking process for yeah. the health and well-being of our community. And our